This is the true story of the Bucketless family. An ordinary family that made the life-changing decision to sell everything and leave their home for an extraordinary adventure around the world. With no final destination in mind, they stepped outside their comfort zones and into the great unknown. Right, they're known as the Bucket List family and have millions of followers on social media. Jessica and Garrett G have visited more than 90 countries with their three children. Jessica is sharing family travel tips and more in a new book, National Geographic Bucket List Family Travel. Share the world with your kids on 50 Adventures of a Lifetime. And Jessica joins us now. Thanks for being with Good us. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Uh, you know what? I'm amazed. I see you on social media and I keep thinking I just to pack up my kids to go to the grocery store was a journey or taking one flight. I don't know how you do it. Are the kids so ingrained because you've been traveling with them since they were little? They are professionals. They're very good travelers, but it, it wasn't always that way. Definitely. It, it, it took a lot of a lot of learning on the road. So what's a quick tip to make that go smoothly for people just starting to do that and, and affordable? One of my favorite tips, I, I think early on, you know, when your kids are toddlers is bringing them into the planning, having them pack their own backpacks, bring their toys and their snacks. They know what they have coming for these long, grueling airplane rides um, and they're excited for it. And, you know, they're just there's part of the journey and they know what to expect. And what about the cost on this? People see the places you're going, but are there ways to travel with a family where it's not super expensive? I, th I think travel, if it's if it's important in your family, you can do it at any budget. It doesn't have to be these big bucket list trips, but you know, uh, a nearby national park or or a road trip or camping. Um, I also think there's a lot of ways that you can save money. There's um, travel hacking where you can use your credit cards and your mo miles and take advantage of of that. Um, it's just a, you got to kind of dive into the world and learn about how to take advantage of those things, and, and you can travel on pretty much any budget. Hey, let's hit your hot spots. First up, uh, let's talk about Belize. Why do you say that's a that's a good one for first time uh, families traveling? I love Belize, especially from the United States. There's a lot of direct flights from Dallas, from Denver, from Miami. Uh, they they take the U.S. dollar there. They speak English. They also have the jungle and the beach. I think it's a great place for international travel um, if it's your first time. You say Japan is wonderful too with kids. Oh, we love, that's my daughter's favorite country. Uh, we're excited to go back, hopefully later this year. Um, it's just very safe, it's very clean. Um, it, it's a whole different culture, a whole different world, um, very high tech, but but really, really, um, really fun for kids. What about some of your favorite spots in the United States? Um, I absolutely love Cannon Beach, Oregon. I think that's a great place. Um, lots of fun going crabbing and just playing on the endless beaches there. I love going to Tahoe, Reno, that area. Um, it's great in any season of the year. And Hilton Head, that's another uh, new family favorite of ours. Also great beaches and lots to do there. You know, I always wonder if the kids appreciate the exotic places they're going to, because I remember I planned this big Disney trip yeah. with my kids and their favorite spot was to literally when we went to the Holiday Inn in Indianapolis, you know, because they had a swimming pool. Do you know what I mean? Their perspective is so off. Do you find that with your kids? Well, you know what? We totally do. A lot of times it's the little things that, that really like excite them and not and not, you know, the big grand adventure. But that's that's the joy of the journey, you know, and you want that to happen with your family. The whole the whole idea of, is just enjoying being together. Do you regret spending time at home and sitting on the couch? Do I regret that? Yeah, no, I mean, I know I would miss it. Feels, sometimes that feels really nice. You know, we've actually been on the road for the last six months. We got back from Antarctica yesterday. Wow. So sitting on the couch for a minute sounds really nice. What's that like with kids, Antarctica? Oh, it was so wonderful. They learned so much, so many, so much wildlife, penguins and albatross and seals and fur seals, just really, really cool. Um, we actually pulled them out of school. We, we try to keep the kids in school as much as possible, but this, this Antarctica, this was our seventh continent um, for all of our, our entire family and just a once in a lifetime opportunity. So we were really excited and we all learned a ton. All right, well, the book is Bucket List Family Travel. You can get more at their website and follow them on social media. Thank you. Thanks, Jessica. Appreciate it. Thank you.